Hey guys. Cassie found something here. It's the size of a nickel. Hey, buffalo nickel. Give me the buffalo juice. Oh, I got to keep digging some more here. Let's see what else we can get. I found myself a bucket lister. I got a crotal bell. It's a weedy. You found a weedy? Yes. Sweet. A Walking Liberty 1943 half dollar. Oh my God, it's freaking gorgeous. You got an Indian? Oh my god, Cassie got IHP. Needless to say, I am a happy camper. Good morning, everyone. As you can see, it's a wee bit foggy right now. Um, we're going to go try to do some metal detecting anyway. I've got about um, three hours, maybe. I don't know if I'll detect that long before I've got to go uh, with a friend who's got to go take me to pick up my car. I got a different one yesterday and my old one is still sitting. I'm keeping it to pass down to my daughter so I gotta go pick it up and all that stuff. So we have a little bit of time to go out and do some detecting. Let's find out if we can actually get anything in all this fog. There's no air movement. The humidity is a hundred percent. So my hair from 45 minutes ago is still wet. So let's see what we can find. I can barely even function without my glasses fogging up here when I'm trying to see what I've got and I can barely see what I got <laughs> but I'm on my third target first one was a key about eight inches deep I'm already sweating like crazy it's not really warm out it's just humidity is horrible but I think I have a wheat penny I don't know kind of hard to see there's there's some crust on it now let me get the let me reverse the angle on this so you can see better it's a little bit better. See, there's a crust on it. But, see, I got the wheat stalks on the back. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to, to clean that off to see what it is. We know we got a wheat, though. I'll see if I can try later and find out what it is exactly. But I guess we'll go from there. A bit different. I don't know what it is. A blob with green patina I have no idea I if I can clean this up a little bit and get some sort of an identity off of it it's light I don't know maybe the cap off I think it might be the cap off of something look at that yeah it's just a cap off of something yeah we'll clean this up later keep going I uh, brought me a water bottle but I put it in a pouch in my vest that wasn't clean. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Oh well, I'm going to have to clean it off. But, speaking of cleaning stuff off, I did find something good. So, let's show you what I got. You can see the impression down there where it was all nice and green. I set it out up here. And if you take a look... There's a buffalo on it. Got me another buffalo nickel. Nice shape. I'm going to have to clean it up a bit on the Indian side. I don't know if I'm going to get a date or anything off of it. Oh, it's starting to come through there. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me work on it a minute here and see what I can come up with. I do think I have a date starting to peek through there. 1936, I think, is what that says there. That's cool. I don't think I'm going to clean it up any more than this. I think I might, well, maybe get a little bit off the back. And then I think I'm going to leave it just the way it is. Got ourselves another wheat, it looks like. Yeah, definitely got a wheat. Let's see if we can get a date off of this here. Looks like we got a 48. We'll take her. Got something here. I'm not real sure what it is. The more I clean it up, the more it starts to look like it could be part of a coin. But it's beat up if it is. I have no idea. Uh, I'm going to have to clean this up when I get home, I think. It's really muddy because of all the 
the dew on the grass. It's still 100% humidity. It's still foggy. And I can't tell what that is. If I do, before I get home, I'll let you know. Again, I'm doing really well with the Wheaties today, apparently. Let's see if I can see what that is. I can't tell. Oh, it's a 41. I keep finding 41 and 44 wheats. This one is in super good shape. Check that out. I will take it and keep going. I want an IHP for the day, though. That would be nice to go with my buffalo. Well, here's one that is just cruel. Check this out. I can't even make out what the date on it is. I still got it in the clump of dirt. I was going to see if it was a wheat penny or not. Zoomed in on I can't even tell. I can't for the life of me tell what that is. Let's pop it out and see what it is. Probably just a memorial knowing my luck. Can't even tell. <laughs> Pretty sad, isn't it? It is a weedy. But I don't know what that year is. I guess we'll check it out later. I just can't get it in the right sunlight angle for me to see it. Maybe you guys can. We'll try later, though. Got a drone ant. Crawling around here. Here we go. It's a drone. A male. Let's see. Saw another one down there earlier. Check him out there. Get down there. But in the hole, also had this. Got me another wheat. This one was a lot deeper, too. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to tell what the date on that one is, too. The lighting is just really bad out here today. I think that says 46 or something, though. I don't know. We'll check it out later. Bye-bye, little ant. Got to curve you back up. Well, I either have something really, really good in the hole or a very cruel bazinga. But there's a little bit of shininess. I found some deep, deep bottle caps in here. But this was ringing up more like silver. So, fingers crossed. Let's see if it is. There it is in the hole. Next to my shovel here. That is, let's see, that is six, seven. That's about eight inches there. So, Oh, I think it's going to be garbage duck on it. <sighs> Bazinga. <sighs> that is so cruel. Look how deep that sucker was. <sighs> Junk pouch. Let's keep going. Well, it looks like my digging is over to the, for the day. My last signal was a pull tab. Uh, just got a call from the township police. The neighbors heard a fire uh, smoke detector going off in my house. And... I don't know if you can see where the trees, there's still a haze in the air. Um, it's still, the wind is kicking up so it's going to clear out the fog and the mist a little bit. But when we have ultra, ultra high humidity like this, I have one detector in my house that always goes off because of the humidity alone. And uh, apparently it's going off. So it's freaking some of the neighbors out. So I got to go. Talk to you guys later. I could have filmed it. I don't know if they would have uh, appreciated it too much, but I just got back 
and I had the fire department, the tr big truck at the end of the driveway, like eight guys mulling around at the end of the drive, <laughs> the fire chief. I guess it's a, it's a slow day, so I'm just literally a mile from the fire station, so they needed something to do. They got a big laugh out of it, at least, and uh, since... Um, my smoke detector, since I got it almost, it's always done this. When it's high humidity, it's gone off um, just from the humidity. And um, the guys are like, well, I guess it's good to know that it works, but it is rather annoying. And I'm like, well, I got to run by the store. I'll see if I can get a replacement. I don't, I, we couldn't find the manufacturer date on it. You got to replace these every 10 years. And this is probably right at seven or eight years. It's not 10 year mark. And he's like, well, hang on a second. He ran out to the truck and he's like, I got one out here. You can just have it. Merry Christmas. So I got a new smoke detector out of it. Uh, wheat pennies, a buffalo nickel and a smoke detector. <laughs> and a visit from the fire department. What a day. Let's go to the wrap up. So here are the finds. Uh, you know for an hour and a half out digging in the fog in an area that has just been pounded to death, uh, it's a pretty good haul. Um, this area has been hunted so many times. I've hunted it and the fact that I was able to come away with this says there's still a huge amount to be found out there. It's got some clad I thought this could be a spoon handle or something until I got it home and cleaned it up. It's just a piece of like uh, edging or something. Part of a tire weight. Uh, just some sort of a, I don't know, a mount or something. Not sure what that was. I think that's might have been some sort of electrical connection. A large electrical connection or something at one time. Not sure. Zinc pennies. Crusty ones. Key that was really deep down. This is older than I thought. Look at the crust that's still on it. Uh, this is that thing that I said was a lid. <laughs> that's got to be that's got to be a thumbnail right there. I tell you what, that's funny. I, I like that. <laughs> um, got five Wheaties of uh, 48, 45, 41, 19, and 16. And I was able to identify that. I'm really surprised. And got me a 36 Buffalo. Look at that. I mean, you can see the date on that really well. Um, and this is, I soaked this in lemon juice for a long time. And I wasn't able to come up with a positive identification. But if you look carefully along the edges, let's see if I can get this to focus. You see, it looks like it has a rim. See that? tiny little rim right there that follows my thumbnail. It looks like there's a rim that could be coin and down on this end somewhere if you hold it just right there is what appears to be a three peeking through. I can't find it right now. Uh, it's not silver. I think it might be an old piece of play money. Might have gotten a fire or something like that. But that's the best it's going to come up with. So pretty good haul. Um, getting ready for work. It's already, it's humid, humid, humid again today. Uh, so, but I also almost forgot the other haul. <laughs> Got me a new fire extinguisher. So, what a strange day it was, but what a good day. So, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. You get out there and you find some stuff too. Show me what you're finding and uh, enjoy life. See you later.